Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be painting an infinity miniature. This is going to be quite a quick tutorial uh, as opposed to some of my longer tutorials that I film. And it's just going to go over basically how to get a tabletop standard on an infinity miniature. Before we start the tutorial I want to say a huge thank you to Goblin Gaming, my YouTube channel sponsors who sent me out the miniature for review. If you check the description box down below you'll find a direct link to their web store and this link greatly helps my YouTube channel anytime you purchase anything from Goblin Gaming so please use the link in the description box below. Okay guys um, go get settled in grab yourselves a nice hot drink or maybe a nice cold beer and we'll get started with the tutorial. After priming the miniature I'm going to start off by using Tiamat Orange by Scale 75's Fantasy and Game series. Here you can see that I've heavily watered down the paint about one to one. The reason for this is I want to get a nice smooth coat onto the armour so I'll come back in with two thin layers. After painting two thin layers of the tear matte orange, I'm washing the whole miniature with Games Workshop Seraphine Sepia. Scale 75 Marduk Yellow is going to be used to highlight all of the orange armour. Here you can see that I've rolled the bristles of the brush into a nice sharp point and I'm just using the edge of the brush at certain points to hard edge highlight the armour of the Infinity Miniature. I'm also using the Marduk Yellow to give highlights to the raised surfaces of the armour as well just to make certain surfaces really pop
royal grey is going to be painted onto all of the areas of the suit that's got a ribbed texture. Goblin flesh is painted onto the ammo box that the Infinity Miniature is standing on. Plate male metal is painted onto the gun and onto the base and those petrol caps or whatever they are sticking out from the Infinity Miniature. The ammo box was washed with Games Workshop's Athonian Camo Shade and the Metallics were washed with Games Workshop's Norn Oil. And here we have the finished Infinity Miniature guys. I had great fun painting this miniature and to be honest it's really hard to do infinity minis just this they're just so packed full of detail but I hope you like this mini tutorial guys I'm hoping to make more tutorials over the next week or two so please stay tuned to my channel thank you once again to my youtube channel sponsors goblin gaming don't forget to check that link in the description box below also hit the like button if you've enjoyed this please leave a comment as well let me know what you think of the miniature and thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video